Hi guys, you might have seen the video where I unboxed these, uh, I've got two of them, UFO interactive aircraft. My brother-in-law sent them to me. Well, I've been playing with them, or at least my grandsons have been playing with them today, and they really enjoyed them, but one of them has now died. It, um switches itself off. I just switch it off and on again. Yeah. I think it's actually the battery has died in it. It might be something loose, but I think it's the battery's died. Because it appears to take charge and then you switch it on and you give it a switch with that it starts up and stops immediately. So we'll have a look inside. They supply us with a screwdriver, so we'll see what we can see. I don't expect the lighting will be quite right, because we're actually on my computer desk at the moment. There's also probably a bit of a hiss from the hard drives running. I'll try and edit that out. Okay, not a lot happening there. Do they just pull apart anyway? read the instructions, couldn't I? Oh, there's screws all around the outside edges as well. How silly of me. That's loose. That's loose. That's just pillar and post. That's pillar and post. That screw's loose. That's pillar and post. That screw's not loose. I only undid three, not four. Right. Okay, so we got that apart, so we can get the props off if we need to. But I've undone the other screws, so the rest of it should pop out. Oh, looks like we should have pulled the props off. They didn't give us a little tool for doing that. Uh, probably got one somewhere. That's interesting. <laughs> There's actually in the moulding there. That one says A, that one says B, uh, that one's not easy to see. I think that one says B, but it's actually got a, B, A, B. So they got them in the wrong way around anyway. Come on. I'm going to have to get something to get them off.
So we've got fairly nice looking little board there with a multi LED in the middle. Should come out. Lipo's in there. Is that going to come out? Yes, there we are. Okay, so there's our board and our lipo. Three hundred milliamp power. So why aren't you working? off that must be on I could try changing the battery Switch it off. Go into USB. I don't know if we can see this unplugged. There's actually a LED in there. And as soon as I plug it in, That LED goes out, which indicates to me that it's fully charged. That's what it's supposed to do. But as soon as I do this, it spins up and then stops. It's not stopping. So why aren't you stopping? Well, of course we're still plugged in, aren't we? Right, try it without it plugged in. Stopped.
Yeah, that seemed to run down, didn't it? So it actually ran directly off the power. flat again. Unplug it. Switch it on. Yeah, it's turning itself off. Yeah, and that does look like it's the battery. Because I haven't got any that size, not handy. So I'll have to have a look on eBay or somewhere, see if I can order some. At least I don't think I've got any. I'll have a look in my stock. No, the only ones I've got are ones that I've already swapped out. So my stock is depleted. That one looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. So we're not going to fix that one tonight. Good morning, guys. Last night I took apart that little uh, UFO thing. And I think it's the battery that's causing trouble. So I can either try and order one on eBay, or I can pinch the battery out one of these, because I've got quite a few of these, and they don't cost me very much. This one cost me 60 pence. I've got another one I've taken apart at some time in the past. That's all the innards out of it. The battery there is a 200 milliamp hour. This one's a 300 milliamp hour. So it's not going to be as powerful, but it's about the right size. So I can at least swap it over and see if it runs. So if it runs, we know it's the battery that's the problem. If it still does the same thing, where it runs for a few seconds and then stops, then we know it's something to do with the onboard circuitry. So that's what I'm going to do, swap the batteries over. Don't know if you'll be able to see what I'm doing. It's all a bit small, isn't it? Try using this little soldering iron. Oh, oh, that's nanny, nanny talking to the grandsons. Right, that one's off. This one's got slightly longer wires on it, but we'll just try it out as it is first, rather than trim the wires, because if it doesn't work, there's no point in worrying about it. Now this one is partially charged, so we don't want to accidentally Short it out. Just 
Check we get it the right way around. Battery minus there. That wasn't my neatest bit of soldering. Well, that'll do just to start anyway. I don't need to tie that up. Right, we're on. Well, it's running. I'll tidy up that rubbishy bit of soldering I did just then, and then we'll try and get it back together. Tuck the wires out of the way so they don't go underneath the screws when we tighten it up. Magnet on there to stop it falling apart. That's better.
Okay, as I remember it, the propellers were all in the wrong place. So where it says A there, it was a B. That's an A. That's a B. B. So that must be A. B. Be that one. That's a A. Switch on. Lights on, factory running down. Okay. Well, it looks good for a start. I'll put this back together, we'll put it on charge and see what happens. Looks like the new battery's fixed it, doesn't it? That don't look up for your head. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there. <laughs>